Good afternoon, everyone. All right, so I'm gonna turn the volume down. For you, so. you, can you tell what I'm watching? No, you can't tell. All right, today is gonna be a little bit of a different video, kind of just like a commentary. Uh, just wanted to talk about a bunch of stuff. I don't know, stuff that I'm interested in, and uh, I wanted to share it with you guys. Type one in the chat if you want me to talk about the, the KSI stuff first or uh, WWE. I think we'll talk about the KSI stuff first. It is absolutely rent free, ladies and gentlemen. Rent free is the theme of this whole talk uh, when it comes to the KSI Dan TDM stuff. I'm not really the type of channel to just keep talking about a topic constantly and constantly unless it's, you know, a, like a valid reason. I think this is kind of a valid reason because I think it just sucks to think about. Right, because um, for those of you that don't know, KSI Logan Paul, Mr. Beast created this new thing. I mean, it's not a new thing; it's a it's a direct competitor or a direct copy, pretty much, of Lunchables. It's called Lunchly, and you can imagine with these three characters, uh, it's a product that's probably going to be hated, right? And uh, hated it is. It got hated to the point where Dan the Diamond Minecart decided to make a make a statement about it just you know being like, well, this has no benefit for kids. This this is just you know a money grab and. And you know what? It's true. And how did the Three Stooges reply to it? Mr. Beast had a PR team behind him to reply to that. Logan Paul made a couple of videos and responded to it like his, in his own way. The worst one out of the three was KSI. Not only did he tweet about it, god awful tweets by the way because it missed the point half the time. Not only did he make a video about it where he went through his Reddit and, you know, deflected, I guess. On top of that, he just keeps going. He kept going after that video. He tries to choke it up like, oh, it's the Dan TDM fans going after me when it's just not. It, you're just failing to acknowledge that you're being a bit of a right now. Now, it's been about two weeks since the whole thing started. I mentioned this in the last video that I talked about it where what did Dan TDM do after the, the, the tweet, the one tweet? Keep that in mind, the one tweet, he made Minecraft videos. Which, by the way, I think, uh, I think CM Punk's gonna win this one. He tries to cope as well, like I said, by, uh, by using this as, like, a way to promote his new, uh, his new song called Thick of It, which, in my humble opinion, in my, uh, unbiased opinion, th genuinely, this is unbiased, nothing, you know, I, I get it, I get it, KSI being goofball right now, but, like, in my opinion, what do I think of the two songs that he dropped? Thick of It and Low? I think Low is a much better song. Thick of it, just, I don't hate it, I don't love it, I mean, it's it, it's a song. It's even gotten to the point as well, uh, there's a clip of where the Sidemen boys were actually, like, clowning on him, pretty much, being like, why do you keep doing this? And it's just sad at this point, because, how old is he, 31? Come on, man. This is what Jake Paul tweeted. I think it's funny, but that still doesn't take away the fact that you made It's Every Day, bro. Just saying. I'll say this. I like KSI's music. There's- there's- he's got a lot of good songs. This would just wasn't anything special. Easter egg at the end for certain man. Bro put a diamond at the end of his music video. It's so rent free. That's all I wanted to talk about with the KSI stuff. Uh, I'm gonna- it is bloody. Oh my god. This is bad. This is bad. Alright, I'm gonna focus on this real quickly. I'm gonna give you my predictions right now. Well, I'll give you one prediction right now. My- my prediction on this. I- I think CM Punk's gonna win this one. Alright, I'll be right back. And just like I predicted, CM Punk won. This match was insane. There was a spot that uh, Drew was trying to like, or I, I got I got the clip right here. Like, oh man, like, like right in his lower back, man. But here are my predictions for Bad Blood 2024. Nia Jax versus Bailey. I, th Nia Jax is gonna keep it. Nia Jax is gonna keep it, and I think I'll call this out. Just, you know, just a little shot in the dark. I think Tiffany Stratton's gonna cash in. Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley, of course, with Dominic in a shark cage. Liv's gonna keep it. I feel like there's gonna be something else. Because obviously, you know, Dom's gonna be in a cage, so it's like, oh, you know, she's obviously gonna win. But there's gonna be something else. Like, I don't know, JD McDonough comes in or something. I don't know, something like that. Demon Priest versus Finn Balor. I think Finn might get this one. I, I think Finn might get this one. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns versus Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu. I think Cody and Roman are going to win this one. Who's going to get pinned? Solo. Yeah, those are my predictions. Let's see if I get them right. <laughs> Drew McIntyre after that failed Glamour kick. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> if Dave Meltzer gives a CM Punk and Drew McIntyre match anything less than a five, there... I... Oh, by the way, if you guys are curious, uh, today's going to be... 
man. Today's gonna be my uh, my day off or my rest day. Tomorrow I'll be back into it again. I'm gonna hit legs tomorrow. We gotta quickly talk about what happened prior to this. So right now I'm currently watching the. This is the entrance for Cody Rhodes and everything. Nia Jax kept the title. I was right about that one. Tiffany Stratton did try to cash in. Damon Priest won. I'm not mad about it. Rhea Ripley lost. No. No, no, no. Rhea Ripley won technically because of uh, um, interference. By Raquel Rodriguez. Okay. I know there was going to be something, man. It was going to be as simple as that. A cool spot, though, was when uh, Dom fell off like, the shark cage because it was elevated or whatever. But yeah. Predicted that one, too. Um, I think this one... Um, Cody and Roman will win and Solo is the one that gets pinned. I saw this on Twitter I saw a prediction of this on Twitter where the final boss is gonna come back But I thought I don't think Rocky was gonna come back in bad bad blood I don't think he's gonna do anything else the plot thickens boys I'm still holding on to that theory that like the rock is underneath like all of this or, like he's in control of all of it Like the new like the new bloodline and stuff crazy stuff man crazy stuff Well, the cool thing is uh, Jay or sorry Jimmy's back like my idea is kind of like coming into fruition because I thought you know, when Roman came back, you know, uh, it was just him. I figured that they were gonna slowly, like, return, like, the, the original, like, uh, Bloodline guys. I'm not sure with Jay anymore since he's, uh, since he's the Intercontinental Champion now, but I knew that Jimmy was gonna come back one day, and then eventually we're gonna hear a ladies and gentlemen from Paul Heyman, like, eventually. The only thing that kind of sucks a little bit about it is that Jimmy's return got completely overshadowed because The Rock's back, obviously, so. It is what it is, though. I'm not, I'm not complaining, it just not many people are gonna be talking about Jimmy he's returning everyone's gonna be like oh my god Dwayne's back, Dwayne's back. And The Rock didn't even do much. All he did was just stare into the crowd. That, that's all he did. We don't know what it means, but I'm pretty sure I know what this is gonna mean. I'm sure that eventually this is gonna lead to Roman finding out that The Rock is like, you know, the, the tribal chief, right? Like the, or like the head honcho of the new bloodline. Oh wait, I, I forgot to mention. Uh, Roman and Cody won, of course, with Sol Sokoa getting pinned. Yeah, really good match, a really fun match. I think this whole pay-per-view was solid. Very solid pay-per-view. I gotta rewatch some of the matches because I missed a little bit of it, but Chef's Kiss of a pay-per-view. Very nice. Good job, Hunter. All I need is you, baby, baby. Over. It's Blizzard review time, ladies and gentlemen. You good, dude? Follow you good, bro? Right. It's Blizzard review time. Can someone hold the camera real quick? I'll hold your glizzy. I'll hold your glizzy. How's it going, everyone? Wait, it's not focused. There you go. No, it's all good. I just want to say shout out to David. Shout out to David. Shout out, shout out to David always for giving me that glizzy. Oh, Thank you so much. I appreciate him. Now, this is the BLT. Or it's the bacon, no, B -R -T. It's B bacon ranch tomato. Oh, uh, hell yeah. I'm going to get the last of this. I'm going to feast on this right here. Thank you so much. Hey. Mm. Bro. Thank you.
always got the key and my heart is to lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.